In this video, we will look at creating a four-bar linkage in AutoCAD, emulating its, simulating its behavior, and then animating it. So let's start off by uh, looking at what we actually have. So what I've done is created four blocks. They are solid objects. Each of them has a line to it. So if I come in here and freeze the layer that contains the solid, you'll see that each component has a line, all lying in the XY planes. The blocks themselves may be uh, in a different plane than the actual line that we're going to use for the animation and construction of the mechanism. So let's bring back the solid and look at this from the top view. And uh, first thing we're going to do is make a copy of this pivot. Again, this is a block. And I'm just going to copy it 90 in X to get my second pivot point. Next thing I'd like to do is go to our parametric menu and go to coincident, I'm sorry, go to lock. And I want to lock the top of this pivot. And I also want to lock the top of this pivot point. Now what we're going to do is assemble it. So we'll go to our coincident constraint and grab the bottom of this link and the pivot point and assemble that. We'll now go to coincident again and take the top of uh, one end of this link and the top end of that link. Now we want to take the bottom again with coincident Take the bottom of this link, and I'm being careful to select the ends of the lines that are part of the block. Finally, we want to assemble the four bar linkage. So we will go to the right end of this and the top end of that, and we now see it assembled. So at this point, I can just go back to my standard rotate command, grab the crank, and uh, specify that the pivot point is here and as I rotate it you can see I have a four bar linkage. This will work in any view so I can come to this view again I'll use my standard rotate command grab the crank zoom in and pick a pivot point and you can see it is rotating in three dimensions. That's all there is to it. Um, I wanted to animate this, so I wrote a visual list program called Animate Rotation. And what we have to do here, oh, before I use this command, I have to specify a group. And this tells the list program which object to rotate. And I'm going to say name, and I'm going to grab, uh, I'll specify a name of G1. And I'm going to grab that to be the object with the group name G1. All right, so now what we can do is let's look at this in 3D. And we can say animation, rotation, pick the center. And I'll pick there. Angle step size, let's say 5 degrees instead of the default of, uh, of, 100, of 10. The delay will be about 50. This is a measure of how fast the mechanism will move. We're using the default name of G1. The number of steps, let's say, is uh, 100. And uh, we can see it now going 100 steps, 5 degrees each step, giving us the animation here. And that's all there is to it. And if you'd like to see the actual Visualist code, we can go Manage, Visual Lisp Editor, and here you see the code. Thank you.